Okay, this is my review of my good old, I don't know, maybe he's ready for the Smithsonian, 7 horsepower Sears custom tractor. I'm guessing it's a, we bought this way back in, oh, 1971, 1972. I don't have the exact date, I don't even have the receipts. But as you can see, when we bought this puppy, I also got the snow plower, the snow plow attachment, the uh, snow thrower attachment, the you know the uh, rotary mower. I also have the cart for it. So we we're all set for the snow and the uh, all you know all that. But now we don't even need it in the winter. The only time we use it now is for mowing. Okay. Now let me swing over here to show you this thing. I am the original owner. Okay, it's always been garaged. Okay, um, the carburetor has been uh, rebuilt. We put a carb kit in and all that. Uh, she's been a you know she's a good tractor, really. It's the original engine. Everything is original on it. You'll notice that it's got headlights. Now that was an option also. We put the the light kit in it, and we also added the um, hubcaps. Okay. And that's the original seat. So this thing is, uh, she's been around a long time, but she's an oldie but goodie. And I'll pop the hood. Now you're saying, well, what the heck? How could he add headlights and taillights to that? That model didn't even have a generator. And you're right. So what I did was, back in the old days, I, at the time, I no, I no longer have it, at the time... I put a motorcycle battery in it, right in that spot right there, okay, and as you can see that's the original engine, yeah, the only problem I had is, is this uh, cast aluminum deck, man, those things are brittle and they get chipped and cracked and I've patched that puppy up and all, it, it works fine, you know, so what I'm going to do is, I'll break here and I'll resign it. I'll I'll I'll, re I'll fire it up again and uh, show you what she sounds like. So hold on. <laughs> 